Hey, welcome back. Hey, this is Ben here with Studio on the Lake. Um, today we're going to play around a little bit with some driftwood, uh, and this is going to be a whale. This is not the spirit whale from the Spirit Whale Challenge. Uh, there he is on the piano. And it's going to be fairly simple carving, so it's uh, not going to be real long, and I'm not going to go real in depth into it but uh i left that he the, the fish is basswood the bottom is the other so here's a chunk of basswood and here's how you go about doing it you uh, imagine a well a cartoon rail big gullet uh you take a purple pen because purple is what you grabbed or you give him a little bitty fin in the back and uh you draw the pattern out and then you take it over uh, to the bandsaw and do some work. Although I just broke the last blade in my bandsaw. I had a little blade in there. So, and guess what? They're like 120 inch, so they're, they're monsters. I have to go uh, special order them. So we'll take some of this guy out uh, with a chisel. So uh, that's what it came out of, a, a chunk of basswood, uh, and then I, I did some chisel work, uh, obviously. In uh, this video, you'll see a few more shots of my mug. I don't know why. This, this happened to be a pretty nice uh, pretty nice day outside, and uh, since it's gone back, it's 61 now, so it's a little bit colder. Hey, Rob. Um, you got to get back to me, man. I need your address. I got to send you some basswood. Uh, it'll be a couple of weeks because I got to put the uh, new blades on the saw. Hey, so take a look at this. He's about uh, oh, three inches wide. Uh, and I kind of gave him a little bit of a curve. And then I'm going to do his tail so it's not straight. It's not just a cardboard cutout. He's got movement to him. So that's kind of what I'm planning on on the center line. You can see I went pretty far off on one side so you can see on this guy um, he's got movement I, I did it in kind of a little bit of a curve doesn't need a whole much to get movement on there and then I, I went ahead and did the dotted line just to give you guys a, an idea of the, the reference that I'm playing around with here now this can be done uh, with a hatchet actually uh, or a knife or anything along those lines. Um, and I, I think I was talking a minute ago about uh, Gene Messer. Uh, Gene's talking about uh, the availability of carving uh, videos now. And, and it's true. You can watch. You don't have to figure all this stuff out. I mean, I I started off when I started carving. I, I was doing birds primarily. And I when I first got into carving a little more heavy. Uh, and Jim Sprankle. Uh, an old baseball player who retired down in Florida was doing carving uh, with the, and then stuff with the Ward Wildlife Foundation out in uh, Chesapeake Bay. Uh, so that style of carving primarily and then uh, you know, off into silly, silly, silly carvings, uh, kind of like this. So this is not the spirit whale. Um, I'm going to do uh, kind of a sculpture thing. And I, I haven't decided exactly what style and how intricate I've got kind of the design in the back of my head. That was for you, Jordy. Um, hey, Jordy. Hey, Just Carve Rob. Hey, Matt, down uh, way. Is it down under if you're in New Zealand or are you down under or over? Or over, under, and out? Uh, we talked about it last time. Uh, Matt's going to do the well. A spirit whale challenge i think i think we got an agreement from him and i'm just wondering uh, everything down south goes uh, once you get below the equator uh, it goes backwards so your toilet flushes backwards um and and the, his whale will probably be upside down now i don't think you'll be able to see that because it, it, when we bring the video from down there which is upside down up here north it'll be right side up does that make sense <laughs> uh, so I'm putting shellac on this. I didn't show you the uh, the driftwood piece. I did lightly uh, sand the driftwood piece. A couple of those I took and pressure washed them because they're they're quite literally filled with sand. 
Um, that is uh, one warning if you're using your your knife edge tools on on driftwood, uh, just be cognizant that um, you're gonna screw up the blade and and be resharpening that. So uh, there he is. I left him. Uh, he's plug fit on there. It won't fall off. Uh, but he is loose and he spins around so you can. Uh, he won't get broken and whatnot that way. So you can see why I left the uh, grain on that. And you can see my ugly mug in the background. If uh, that's something that you got to see. Uh, hey, uh, I, I didn't take check that out to see if it was a whale. Uh, there it was with a couple coats of wax all polished up sitting on there on the, on the piano. So like, comment. And uh, subscribe, as always. And, hey, thanks a lot. This has been Ben with uh, Studio on the Lake.